Paul only ads in Google ads. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm going to explain what exactly call only ads are, my opinion on them, which is kind of not what you think. And then lastly, I'm going to show you how to set one up. Make sure you stay through the end of the video because I'm going to show you the results in a live Google ad account of a call only campaign, which may make you rethink whether you want to do this or not. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. Okay, so call only ads are a type of ad used in a search campaign. They're an ad which is really typically designed for a mobile device where somebody types in something. So maybe you're a dentist and they type in dentist near me and the ad that comes up has a call button and the phone number kind of like in the headline. And when you click on that, a prompt comes up on your phone to confirm or to cancel whether you want to go ahead and make this call. So by clicking on the ad, the visitor doesn't go to your website. They just have the prompt that comes up for you to call. What I don't like about call only ads is that if somebody clicks on that ad, Often they think they're going to a website, you end up paying for that click. And even if they hit cancel, they in, as in they don't want to complete the call, you have still paid for that click. Now in high cost per click industries, for example, plumbers, especially in America, where it's, you know, north of $70 of a click, sometimes even $100, you can really, really quickly burn through your budget by people sort of either inadvertently clicking on your ads or clicking on your ads and then thinking they're going to your website and going, no, 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 I don't want to call, cancel. And you've suddenly burnt all your budget for the day and maybe even for the month. So I just want to caution you uh, about that component with those call only ads. But having said that, they do have their place in the world. And I'm going to show you right now how to create one. So here I am in a live Google ad account. I've gone straight into a search campaign, into an ad group and gone to the ad section. And how you create that call only ad is by clicking this plus button and then clicking on call. Now, as you can see here, it has pre-populated some of the information. So unfortunately, I have had to blur out sensitive data here, uh, but it's this is kind of what it's going to look like. You see how it's got that call and then the phone number, which I'm sorry, I have had to blur. Um, but I guess that's sort of trying to warn the visitor that you are actually going to be calling the person or this company rather than going to their website. So here is where you put in the phone number that you want the ad to connect to. It is recommended to put in a final URL just so that the final URL, um, you know, will be shown in the ad and then you go about and write the headlines and descriptions as you like. If I just scroll down real quick, You'll see here that we have uh, two headlines, each of 30 characters. We've got our business name and then two descriptions of 90 characters as well. If I just scroll down a little bit further, you'll see that I have already set up call uh, conversion tracking. Uh, you definitely want to do this so you'll be able to monitor whether these calls are actually converting, which we have set up. Now I'm going to show you the results of a call only campaign, which may shock you. So here we are in this, uh, this same ad group and we are split testing uh, a normal expanded text ad with a call only ad. And now I will acknowledge that there are vastly uh, different level of impressions and clicks and Google has been favoring the responsive search ad but you know the call only ad did get some impressions and clicks and here is exactly what I don't like about them for most people is it did get six clicks that cost this client 70 almost 70 dollars and it's had no conversions and that's because what's happened is as I explained earlier on in the video where somebody has clicked that clicked on the ad, the prompt has come up on their phone, the client has still paid for that click and then the person has clicked cancel and they have, you know, really wasted their money. Um, so you have to be really, really clear in when you write your ad copy that it's like, you know, click to speak to someone right now because you want to kind of 
really inform people in the best possible way that actually they are clicking to speak to someone and not going to a website which is not going to happen which will result in spend for really no result whatsoever so there you have it those are google search call only ads my opinion of them let me know in the comments what you think and maybe your results with them i'd really love to know if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs icon and subscribe and you can check out my website teachtraffic.com as well for more training material. Thanks so much for watching.